Hi, I'm Z. Uh, today I'm going to talk about question 49 on page 139. And the question basically, they give you a function, it's called fx will be equal to x times 1 plus x squared to the negative 1 degree. And now uh, we need to find x in the following condition. And then they give you three conditions. One is like the first derivative will equal to 0, the first derivative will greater than 0, and then the third one is the first derivative will be smaller than 0. So basically what I'm do or what I did here is I took the derivative of this function and I get this f prime x will be equal to one plus x squared next one minus two x squared uh, times one plus x squared to the next two degree. And I try to simplify this equation and then I get this one minus x squared over one plus x squared two. And uh, when we look at this function, we can see the numerator here. They have a square root here. They have a square here. So which means this will always be greater than zero. So basically, we do not need to consider the numerator. We only need to consider the denominator. So, and then uh, we meet these three conditions: equal to zero, greater than zero, and smaller than zero. And now I'm going to show you a shortcut like how to quickly get the answer for this uh, in uh, for for this equation. The best way to do so is actually draw the graph. And this line will be y is equal to 1. And then this will be x squared. So basically, when y minus x squared is equal to 0, which means 1 will be equal to x squared. And then we just find their intercept point here. So will be x will be equal to negative 1 and or positive 1. So this is the answer for this one. And when 1 minus x squared will be greater than 0, which means 1 will always be greater than x squared. So basically, we will see the x squared like below y is equal to 1. So it's basically it's inside this area. So it's between positive 1 and negative 1. And then when 1 minus x squared is smaller than 0, which means uh, the x squared will always be greater than 1, which means uh, the domain of x will be on this side or on this side. So x will be greater than positive 1 or x will be smaller than negative 1. No, x will be greater than positive 1, or, or negative 1 will be greater than positive x. So basically, this is the answer for question 49. Thanks for watching. Yes.